Hello everyone. This is Mel from Melamory Nursery and I want to say welcome to everybody, uh, especially if you're new, um, because everybody else knows how much I appreciate you. At least I hope you do. Um, today is Silicone Saturday and I thought I would do something different. Well, actually, I have to do something different because a Mel moment happened and as I was explaining to my daughter in an utter frantic moment, uh, they're not funny when they happen, actually. <laughs> but I've learned to make them funny, you know, because they're uh, things that I tend to do that are, um, oh, I don't know, honey, what would you call them? Silly things? Stupid things? <laughs> um be honest what would you call them <laughs> dumb things i do dumb things folks i do dumb things that's it in a nutshell d-u-m-b dumb i do dumb things so what did i do well you're gonna see before this video a 27 second video of a fast forwarded version of me changing both clara and mackenzie because it's Silicone Saturday. And not only is it Silicone Saturday, folks, but I was explaining while I was holding up this lovely book here and showing off Clara's lovely boo bunny here and Mackenzie's lovely leopard here that it was Patricia from Patricia's Dolly Dreams Play Day Saturday. And of course, I'll have everybody in the description box below. I'm not going to bother doing that with the last video because, I mean, that was a wash. Because <laughs> I do dumb things, folks. I do dumb things. <laughs> and I think what's been going on with my phone lately has to do with, hmm, I don't know, human error. So, thank you, Patricia, for that. Now, the reason I also hold up this book, which says Best Friends, is because the outfit that the girls are wearing, um, I put them both into onesies, matching onesies. I purchased a bag of clothing from Julie from the Country Cottage. Thank you, Julie. And I tried to get the girls in spring, summer. It's more summer because it's, what, 18 degrees, right? We, it's gone up to 19. It's gone up to 19 degrees. Now, the reason I was frustrated in, I don't know, with the half an hour between the last clip and this clip, the reason I was frustrated is because my daughter and I had a beautiful conversation going on and we were talking about all sorts of things. And in my head, I thought, oh my gosh, I have just lost that chunk of time. I'll never get that back. I'll never get that video interaction back where we were talking about what we tell everything we were talking about um how you came over suddenly to help me yeah. and to be with me because you're a sweetheart <laughs> and it's like christmas every day my bed story okay we'll get to the bed story remind me if i forget folks remind me um dinner last night, dinner last night. okay movie last night movie last night um oh and the nursery how my daughter basically um Put the nursery together let me start with that story okay because you know and then then i'll i'll pick up the girls and show you you know and whatnot because olivia has helped me with with my silicones because clara is and i'll hold her up for you now clara was the first little girl on that very fast 27 second video clip here she is here let me get her a little closer she is here with her soother in her mouth. She looks like a little pudge. She looks like Ivy, doesn't she? That's why yeah. Danielle likes. Danielle, my middle daughter, really loves this doll because Ivy looked a lot. My granddaughter looked a lot like this little pudge here. And she is a little pudge. Look at her. She's so floppy. She's so floppy. And she's a drinking wood as well. And she's got a thicker neck. But that's because this little girl came from Russia. And she's got a drink and wet system in her. And she's 19 and a half inches long. And her book is over there. But you know what, folks? I'm not doing a third video and going and grabbing it at this point. And I'm afraid to stand up in case, I don't know, maybe the cell phone. Oh, 
maybe the cell phone will like pop out of the new like cell phone holder and like hit the floor because anything anything will happen like for example in between the last clip and this one I had to take my medication and of course wouldn't you know it I dropped it on the floor didn't I hun mm -hmm. yep I, I dropped it on the floor yeah so you know yeah I just you know if you're like this and you need a chuckle I want you to thank Mel over at Mel Moran Nurseries. She has something called Mel Moments. I mean, we're hitting the thousands now, folks. Thousands. That's it? See? Yeah. See, like when I was in the military, they used to like, honestly say, what has she done this time? Because I was renowned for these moments, renowned for them. They had books on them, you know, and I was consistent with them. And so, needless to say, here I am now. So this is my sweet Clara, and she's my open-eyed, 19 and a half, Russian silicone baby girl. And while I was dressing her, I was talking about her, how um, there was a time when I was all about the drink and wet. I was actually like obsessed with finding different kinds of drink and wets, and I did. But she's my last one now. She's my absolute last drink and wet. And she's a silicone little baby girl. And her and Mackenzie actually share a bassinet that's up in the nursery. A nursery that I did promise to give you guys a tour of. Uh, and I will shortly. There's just a lot of, I don't know. I need to organize it a little bit more, don't I, babe? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and my daughter will contest you. Uh, I'm so OCD, folks. She has those initials. Yeah, she named me OCD. I didn't even see that's a Mel moment. That's a Mel moment. I wasn't even aware of it. I, I wasn't aware of it. And before we go any further, there was somebody you wanted to say hello to. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> Hi, Chris. <sighs> and what about my my darling friend, Aneta? <laughs> oh, you don't know Aneta? Say hello to Aneta. Hi, Aneta. And what about Dee? Mom. <laughs> So she doesn't know everybody, but she knows that you guys are important to me. All of you people. You know about Kitty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you've heard me talking great things about Dee and Chris and Kitty. And so, you know, but there's so many more of you guys. There's so, so many more of you. And sometimes she's like off in her own hobbies. Like, you know, she likes k-pop music yeah. and you like what else do you like hun crocheting reading right um axe throwing yeah, my daughter loves axe throwing it's a very wonderful stress <laughs> reliever highly recommend sometimes they'll let you put a picture at who, of whoever you're mad at so you know i've raised three daughters and my youngest likes axe throwing so you know collecting dolls isn't the worst hobby to have folks mm. no because you know what? Do what makes you happy, <laughs> right? So if my daughter wants to throw axes and that's a hobby, yay for her, right? It's like getting tattoos. I think I'm the only military person I know that didn't get a tattoo. But how many do you have, honey? Currently or soon to have? Currently. Four. And and you just won two. Yeah. Two so freebies. like she just won two free tattoos. So, okay. So this was Clara. And so we were talking about how the girls share a bassinet and they are best friends, which is so fitting that Jubilee included this in the clothes. And I was showing this beautiful book because it's it's one of those cardboard books. It's quite glossy. Hopefully it's not picking up the shadow. It's got my favorite lady in the tramp. I love the spaghetti scene, you know. Uh, then it's got Dumbo. And you know what? Dumbo has dumb in the name. Dumb. <laughs> Yep, just like me. And it's got Marie. Um, and then beautiful pictures of wildlife. And who are my favorite wildlife, honey? The coons? The raccoons, yeah. And, you know, we got Rascal, we've got... Templeton? Oh, no, Measelstick. Oh, Measelstick, sorry. Measelstick is a rat. Yeah, yeah, I have a wild rat, folks, yeah. And so, but we've got Tink, 
And the new one, we don't know what her name is. You used to have mud. Oh, mud. Mud, yeah. So we were talking about all this interaction, folks. And then I look at my phone after all this time had passed. I, I don't know. You know, my videos are like half hour, right? And I look at the phone and it was doing something completely different than even before. And I was like, what is it doing? And I paused and I looked at it and I said to my daughter, there it goes doing it again. Because she looked at my phone and there's nothing wrong with my phone. There's nothing wrong with it. Nope. Nothing wrong with it. It really isn't that I can find. Yeah. And she would know. It's just age and me. I'm not saying everybody my age has problems with the phone because they don't. You know how to edit. You know how to do all this stuff. But me, I just don't. And it's probably because I don't have the patience for it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so I also pointed out that this was Clara's Boo Bunny. Boo Bunny came home with Clara all the way for Russia. And so, yeah. And she actually matches. Clara and Boo Bunny actually match, don't you, darling? Yeah. Now, what's interesting with Clara is that she has not lost any hair. But look at that. I didn't even realize. Of course, I'm supporting her head. Clara is... Uh, almost seven pounds and Mackenzie is almost eight pounds but I can't hold them both at the same time in fact my daughter helped bring them down but look all right and Billy wanted to be in the picture so Clara come here honey so Clara's got dirty blonde hair and um I put this passy in and I was talking about her passy. So you probably, I don't know how, how much you guys could have gleaned from that 27 second video. But I mean, I was some upset. I was. I mean, I'd filmed this whole video with my daughter and I talking about how she'd come over from Vancouver and she spent the night with me to help me with my phone. I mean, it, it was like... I've told you all before, like it's Christmas every day and just her coming over to help me with my phone was like, like Mother's Day, Christmas and my birthday all in one. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. So I thanked her in the only way I knew how to do it, which was to make her a nice meal. And I made steaks and we were talking about how I cooked them and you said, yummy. Yes. So she likes a home-cooked meal, but it's been so long since I've cooked a meal even. I mean, it's been more than six weeks. So, you know, you fall out of the habit. So I had bought these um, pre-cooked potatoes as well. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but I bought these pre-cooked potatoes and I thought I'll just heat them up and, and smash them instead of, I don't know, the height of laziness, folks. The height of laziness means that I didn't even want to boil potatoes. But actually, that's not the case. The case was they were right there by the stakes. And because they were right there by the stakes, I thought, well, I'll just put those in my cart. I've never tried those before. And usually I just get like the mini uh, Yukon gold potatoes, scrub them down, put them in the pot, and then I smash them with the skins on them. And they're really good with garlic and seasoning salt and you really like them honey don't you mm -hmm. they were really much better than what these other potatoes turned out to be that being said we were talking about dinner so i made her a home cooked meal and um we were talking about the nursery and how she was the one that switched the bedrooms thank you so much sweetheart yeah. like this my daughter my daughter right now honestly if she wasn't shy I'd have her here so you guys could all see her because I, and she's shaking her head. Like, no, she, she would never no do that. Chance. She is shy, folks. She's shy, camera shy. She just, no. Um, but I, I can't believe that I filmed a whole video and I lost all of that natural conversation. You know what I'm saying? All of that natural conversation. So before we sat down again and after I'd calmed down because I was like freaking out, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe that I hit the time lapse. That's what I did. So it has time lapse, then slow something, and then video. So I must have been hitting one of those with my finger. 
and it, that's that's all I've done, folks. <laughs> Mel moment. Mel moment. <laughs> so I was talking about Billy here, and I know I'm going to jump all over the place, but Billy is the duck that is part of our Saturday play day, but he's also kind of become a mascot as well. So, and then we have, we have Lammy, and Lammy is Prayer Bear. And most of you know by now um, that Lammy is the mascot of the channel. Lammy is about uh, sending out love and hope and prayers or well wishes or thoughts to anybody who needs them for any reason. So these two here really are like mascots. <laughs> I'm flinging them around because it's another Mel moment. But you might as well see me raw and uncut, okay? So I'm going to pick up. Am I boring you? No. <laughs> She's reclined on my lounger now. She's like, okay, I'm done now, Mom. My back is sore. On the poor, the poor kid. She's got to go take the ferry again home tonight. And probably won't get home until 10 o'clock. And then she's up at 4 a.m. So. Let adulting. Me, that's called adulting. Yes, it is. I'm going to show you sweet Mackenzie. Now, Mackenzie does weigh a little bit more. And um, she is also wearing what Clara is wearing. And she has a much floppier head. Of course, she doesn't have a drink in wet. She's 21 inches long. And she is my Australian silicone little girl. But she's a sleeping girl. She's also very floppy. Do you see that? Very, very floppy, you know, and I was saying to uh, my daughter, you know, when I go into their rooms, I, t I like I talk to them. I, you know, if, if I go, for example, they're laying on a cotton um, acid free blanket because their blanket is too uh, warm now. So I had to go on and borrow one from Maggie because Maggie is sitting with the other girls and she's got enough covering her because I've got all the dolls covered. Don't I sweetheart? Mm -hmm. And so I said, thank you, Maggie. And then I said to Olivia, you see, this is what I do. But then I told her of Betty White. Betty White had two mansions and two rooms, one in each mansion. And every night before Betty White went to bed, she would say goodnight to at least a dozen of her teddy bears. I mean, you know what? And that's, she, she had a long, lovely life. Longevity comes from, you know, whatever it is you do that you love. So this is Mackenzie's lovey, which is the leopard. So we've got Boo Bunny and the leopard and these two girls, which I really want to pick up together just so that you can see. And I think I'll start with Mackenzie. I'll, I'll see if I can do that just so you can see them both in my arms. Now, Mackenzie is starting to lose hair, I noticed. I want to show you that because that's where she kind of lays. So she is losing hair. Clara hasn't lost any yet. So um, I will have to get on the bandwagon with that. Now I'm wondering how I'm going to be able to do this. And I'm wondering, sweetheart, I don't want you in the picture or anything. I think I can do this. I mean, how does a, how does a mother of twins do this? I mean, I've I always, I mean, I had three girls under five, but you know, how do you, how do you do this? <laughs> like, obviously, I would fail. Like, I, I feel like I would fail in the twins department for real with, with silicones because um, they're dead weight. They're absolutely dead weight. So um, I'm not sure that their coloring is going to show up. I'm not sure uh, if their outfits are going to show up. Maybe if I can lean them back on me somehow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm failing, <laughs> but that's okay. Cause after that, you know, filming in, um, 
what did I say? Filmed in time lapse, right? So yeah. time, there's time lapse and slow mo, and you know. So I guess the the videos that I tried to film that I couldn't upload were in slow mo, which took like forever to upload, which is why they weren't uploading. So human error, yeah. So perfectly imperfect, folks. That's what I wanted to tell you. What else were we talking about? We were talking about, oh, and what we did today. And the bed. Oh, we were talking about the bed issue. So my daughter, as you all know, at the beginning of the month, I developed an abscess. And maybe if you're new, you didn't know. Uh, but at the beginning of the month, I developed an abscess and I'm still going back for treatment because it's not healing quite right. But that's okay. Like, it will heal. There's no discomfort anymore. I'm not, you know. Um, but within a day, two days, two days of me getting that. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I had it, but I just wasn't sharing that I had that with my daughter. It was DMI. You know what I'm saying? So she got really sick, really sick. And of course, she's just moved over to her, to her new place. She's just started a new job and she got ill. And she was on a, because of the square footage in her apartment, to save money, to find a place she could afford, she was in a 150 square, well, she is in 150 square feet. I'm just holding it. It's adorable. It's, it's a super sweet place, folks. It really is. There, Mackenzie wants to lay down and Clara wants to sit up because she's awake. Um, and... For context, I'm someone who wants a tiny home. Yeah, like her goal is to have a tiny home. And as I explained to you guys in the future, my goal is to buy property so that eventually my kids can have a place to put a tiny home on it and they won't have to worry about the land aspect. But that's not here and that's not in the immediate future because it's going to take what two three years huh minimum yeah uh, minimum and that's if i don't get it custom built that's right so there's a lot of factors playing on it but that being said we were talking about that anyway back to this air mattress so we got her this deluxe air mattress and it was you know great it was comfortable i i spent time on that air mattress while i was over visiting her and um, then one day she noticed that it didn't have the air in it. And this thing really like looked like a full size bed. Well, <clears throat> it automatically pumped itself up and I'm gonna have to take one of these girls off. Come here, you, come here. Oh, oh look at that. I just failed the parenting course. Did you see that? The poor baby just fell over folks. Um, Okay, so we'll just leave her. Actually, we'll, we'll put Clara down because she's wide awake. She can entertain herself. And then we'll bring Mackenzie back over. <clears throat> so, um, there. And you can have your little lovey. Yeah. So, she, <laughs> she noticed that it had deflated. And so she phoned me up because it, it plugged into the wall to self-inflate. And she had noticed that it had deflated again. So I said to her, well, you were going to get a bed anyway. I'll send you the money and you can buy yourself a bed and have them deliver it from Ikea. But she wouldn't let me pay for it, would you? Nope. She wouldn't let me pay for it all. So she settled on me paying for half because why? Um... Okay, well, I'll answer for her because, like, there's no way she wouldn't have been able to say no. <laughs> like, I'm just that way. Like, when it comes to food and, and, like, having a place to sleep, my kids have to have that, okay? They just do. So, anyway, she gets this uh, delivery. So, for three days, she's literally sleeping on pillows that I'd given her for her little place. And, and she, squishmallows. So, she's sleeping on pillows and squishmallows for three days. So the delivery from Ikea comes. So this was Thursday? Uh, the delivery came on Saturday. No, when this happened, Wednesday or Thursday? It was Wednesday. Wednesday. This happened on a Wednesday. So 
she put in the order. The delivery was for Saturday and they delivered her um, new bed, which is a trundle bed. It's beautiful. Uh, it's great for a small place because a trundle in a small place, it fits with her other Ikea bookcases. It looks beautiful. Um, it took her five and a half hours to put it together. So long. Yeah, me, I don't put things together. That's why she put together the crib upstairs. And not what? So she got that Saturday mm -hmm. and by Tuesday. So the Wednesday. second of the month, Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday, the third of the month, she got really sick. Really sick. So literally, it was from the time the air mattress completely died on her to the time she got super sick. And was off work uh and like really like like demon plague <laughs> demon plague uh self-quarantining the whole nine yards um was six days and had she not gotten that bed when she did she would have been you know if that had happened that would have been horrible so those were all the things i think all the things we were talking about hmm. and um I just really wanted to explain why you guys got to see a 27 second clip and hear the story of why that happened. And I tried to do uh, like a voiceover or edit or whatever. And I, I don't know, folks, I, I forget it. I just, I used to have the skills for doing it and I would have to go upstairs to my computer, plug everything in, take it from the phone, take it to the computer. And I'm just not doing that, not doing it. So the Mel moment that you saw earlier was a good topic. So I don't know, maybe I'm on my 11,111th Mel moment. That number seems too small. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> anyway, folks, I pray you have a blessed and beautiful day. Patricia, thank you so much for Play Day Saturday. I want to thank each and every one of you for spending time with me because time, folks, time is the greatest gift ever. And um, I want you all to remember we all are perfectly imperfect. You're all needed, wanted, and loved, as am I, as is my daughter. And it's far, far more than you will ever know. So I want to thank you all for spending time with me today. Tomorrow, I'm going to be back because Chris from Chris's Cuddles and myself are going to twin our August Awake sculpts. And um, what else? This week coming up, hopefully, no, this week coming up, there's going to be a couple of things you might want to keep an eye out for. That's a hint. That's all I can say. And if you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't subscribed yet and you feel up to it, please do so. Um, and if you hit the notification bell, that would be great as well. Then you'll know when I upload next time as well as the like button if you like the content. Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you for your patience with my phone and its issues, which obviously are human error. I still have to figure out the YouTube studio. That's obviously something else I'm doing. Um, I probably just have to reset that app or update that app too. So folks, have a blessed and beautiful day. I know I said that twice, but I mean it twice. And I will see you all next time. Happy Saturday and be safe, all of you, please. Bye for now.